Hey guys, I haven't been recording or posting in a while because I haven't had my computer. So um, I'm going to make a biking video. And this is going to be how to make your bars just not continue to move and shift. And hopefully make your bolts not strip. So first off, if there's like a bunch of grease on your uh, bolts, you should take a knife or... I don't know, anything little, like even the side of this sandpaper, and you can just um, scrape in between the bolts. I mean, I used a knife, probably not the best idea, but it gets rid of all the extra grease. So, got my bike right there. I just quickly took off the top by unscrewing it. So, you'll need an Allen key set, rag, um, sandpaper, any type, it doesn't matter. And then, bike to actually do all this on. So you have your handlebars. We'll leave those be for now. We're going to move to this. So what you're going to want to do is take your sandpaper, have it at the curled spot, or curl it yourself, and then just really get all that extra paint off that's making your handlebars slip up. Alright, so I only did that for like a minute after. And once you're done with that, you're just going to wipe off all of the shavings. And you want to just get all of this. Alright? So, I'm going to continue to wipe it off for another 30 seconds. Alright, so we got this thing all cleaned up. It looks super nice. So, we're going to move on to this part right here on the bike. And uh, mine's kind of strange. It has two different parts, and it has an indent in the middle. So, first off, without sanding it, you know, wipe it real good with the rag. Get all the little metal scrapings and paint out of there. Alright. Seems good. And then, again, this is from the stem over there. A decent amount of paint, it's pretty gross. And, uh, you know, just try to scrape all this off. And I'll do this for a little bit, and then I'll wait for you guys. Alright, so you really couldn't see it last time, but this time you can. This was perfectly clean, and now it has all the little sand grits in it, so you're just going to want to Take another rag, again, same rag actually, I don't know why you would use a different one. And really, this proof is kind of annoying, because I have to get my finger in there. Alright, so, I just wiped off all these little metal scrapings in here. Now these both look super clean and shiny. And the last thing, I'm not going to use sandpaper for these. But you're just going to wipe off a good amount of all that dirt and paint and throw stuff on there. So I'm going to go do that, show you guys the dirt on the rag, and then reassemble. Alright, so that's all the dirt and stuff from the rag right here. Ice cream truck is going by, but it doesn't really matter to me. Um, so, this looks so much cleaner than it did before. So I'm just going to... Throw this on here. My bars are actually ovaled, so it'll move strangely most of the time. They will continue to shift. I may have to get new bars, but they're not too expensive to get. So, I'm gonna lightly put these bolts in diagonally first. Now the trick with this is, there's a little gap in between the handlebar and the stem. So, you're going to want to tighten them all slowly and evenly so that there's the same exact gap. Oh, 
so that there's the same gap between all of them. There's no like mismatching. It's growing up, and your bars won't get ovaled if you don't over tighten over tighten them. I mean, I over tighten them to stop them from moving because I didn't really know how to do this before. But pick this up. Oh, I'm sharing it with you guys. This side up there, and then oh, there we go. You can have it like that, and I'll finish tightening this up for you guys. All right, guys. So I got this all tightened up. I mean, my fork's a little loose, but it should be fine. I got these new sweet pedals and grips. They look pretty nice. I might just add some brakes because my jumps are six foot gaps now and uh, you need the speed and then there's a big, not so big berm. So I don't have, I have too much speed to actually hit it properly because I'm not too great at hitting berms. But I'm going to go bunny hop this for you guys and uh, show you that the bars won't turn. Feeling really smooth and buttery. I don't feel any shifting or any looseness at all. So it feels really good. I landed nose heavy a little bit. The bars are still in the exact same place. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helped you. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this. I'll be doing some more tips and tricks for BMX and uh, anything for a bike, really. So make sure to stay in tune, and I'll see you in the next video.